Well, we've issued a first alert weather day, but it's for later tonight. Ahead of a cold front coming in, we could see some strong storms. Now, St. Louis is in the lowest level one severe risk, but still a risk. A little higher level two as you go to the southwest and west of St. Louis, including right around Warrenton, Sullivan, down to Rolla. What we're dealing with time-wise here is going to be late evening and overnight, area-wide from west to east, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. But in the St. Louis metro, we're thinking 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. is the timing. Main threat's going to be damaging wind. Could see some small hail with this as well. And you'll notice these storms kind of flare up out ahead of the front early in the evening here uh, towards central Missouri, away from us at 7 o'clock. But by about 10 o'clock, here they are moving through the area. We'll be on guard, especially to those areas to the southwest, but all across the area for some of those damaging gusty winds. There's midnight, and then here's about 2 a.m. Still some rain mainly east and south of St. Louis at that point. It's starting to kind of move out by the morning rush. There's 7 a.m. We're going to be dry, and it will be a nice day, but it may start off a little bit humid, and then the humidity will be falling as the cooler, less humid air behind that front moves in. So partly cloudy, 70s to wake up to, but really nice day, 80 and mostly sunny at noon, 3 o'clock, 84, falling humidity. And by 5, five o'clock for the evening rush, looking great, 83. And we're into the 70s at 8 o'clock with the sun setting, clear and dry for your evening on Wednesday. 84 for the high, that's actually normal on Wednesday. We'll be a little bit below normal, though, the rest of the week. Thursday, Friday, 83, lots of sunshine. And then over the weekend, looks great, too. Really nice, low humidity. We do have another chance for some rain, maybe some thunderstorms by Tuesday of next week.